made God? Now just think about that question for a moment and replace the word God with people or animals. This is the question that we ask, well, frequently when we are children. We come to our parents and say, Daddy, who made me? Daddy, who made the animals? Now, the question about who made me is one that is dreaded by parents. Then the question is, how was I made? Now, that might sound funny, but it makes sense because the assumption is we were created, we were made. But we encounter a problem when we ask that same question of God because, again, the assumption is God was created. But part of what it means to be God is that He was never made. He is the uncreated one. So when we ask the question, who made God, we're asking effectively, who created the uncreated one? And this is the question that many skeptics ask as if they have Christians on the hook. Well, you can't tell me who created God. But that actually exposes our ignorance to who God is. To be God means that He was never created, never made. He always was. More than that, He is the ruler of all things, the holder of all things. But even more brilliant than all of that is that this God, the Christian God, is the uncreated one, always was, and desires a personal relationship with us. He is the uncreated one, but He wants a relationship with us. This is amazing. <laughs>